Thank you very much, Peter. Good evening, everybody. I'd like to thank our media sponsor from Photonics Media and the SPIE for hosting this evening's award ceremony. It's a real honor for me to be here to announce the winner of the 2017 PRISM Award for Photonics Innovation in Materials and Coatings. It's estimated that the world market for optical materials and coatings is already over $10 billion. Several segments intersect with 2.6's business. The first example is in industrial materials processing, where sustained advances in coatings and materials technologies have enabled successive generations of CO2 laser optics, and now, more recently, also fiber laser optics, to enable the world, world's factories to improve their efficiency and lower their costs. A second example is in successive generations of optical and data communications networks, where optical fiber, thin film filters, and optical coatings on high-power semiconductor lasers that have enabled those networks to be high-power and reliable. These networks have been made cost-effective by employing high volumes of semiconductor lasers, optical amplifiers, and high-speed WDM passive components, including thin film filters. Although outside of 2.6's core business today, we are pleased to know that we operate in a broader addressable market. It's expected that sustained growth will be driven by continuous innovations in optical materials and coatings as a result of anticipated increases in demand from new consumer electronic device applications like 3D sensing, virtual and augmented reality, printed electronics, and wearable computers, among others. For sure, optical materials and coatings are essential to entire industrial ecosystems and represent a critical part of those ecosystems. So investment in new materials and coating technologies should continue to spawn a whole new generation of educators and entrepreneurs who will bring a renewed curiosity and commitment and, like our finalists, will accelerate the pace of innovation and value creation in the 21st century. Now, let's turn our attention to tonight's finalists. Crystalline Mirror Solutions presents ultra-high performance Extal Mirror Mid-IR Optical Coatings, completely redefining the performance metrics of reflectors. Single crystal synthetic diamond by Element 6 is versatile and robust. The single crystal diamond has the widest transmission of any optical material. The innovative quantum film from Invisage efficiently senses light and tailors sensitivity with a dynamic global shutter system. And the winner is Crystalline Mirror Solutions. Crystalline Mirror Solutions from Austria is a global leader in ultra-high reflecting and fundamentally low-noise crystalline super mirrors. This is their first time as a finalist and their first win. This, I am completely unprepared, but obviously very excited. So uh, I'd like to thank Photonics Media and SPIE, of course, for uh, putting on this wonderful event. And of course, the infinite wisdom of the judges for making this decision, which I'm slightly biased about. Um, I thought we had no chance of winning because we were sitting in the very, very back. So I figured they just <laughs> moved us away from the stage. Um, so yeah. I, it's really exciting to be here. The company's existed for three years. Our core business was in really precision metrology. And just as a sort of funny side story, this product line came out of a 
poster session at a conference over beers discussing how far we could push or how long of wavelengths we could push the operating window of our, of our coatings. So go to poster sessions, have beers with people, and talk about weird ideas. <laughs> that's, that's my point. Um, Uh, yeah, so just a little background, a little plug on the company since we're up here. Chris Lemire Solutions, we've developed this entirely new technique to make optical coatings. So rather than doing a direct deposition via evaporation or sputtering, we take single crystal semiconductor multilayers. So these are gallium arsenide, aluminum gallium arsenide heterostructures. We do an epitaxial growth process. We then remove that single crystal film from its native growth substrate, and we transfer it to the final optic. This could be few silica, silicon, sapphire, silicon carbide, diamond, um, a variety of materials. We bond to curved surfaces. We're effectively limited by the, the area of the, the original growth wafer. And the advantages are we can do very high thermal conductivity, very low optical losses, very low Brownian noise or optics, and for here, very low losses in the mid-infrared. So my colleague Christoph gave a presentation on Monday showing two parts per million absorption now at 3.7 microns in our optics. And I think that's, that's an entirely new standard of, of optical losses in the mid-IR. Uh, so, you know, we've already pushed some exciting scientific discoveries. We had a very exciting paper on the direct measurement of, what, the reaction of deuterated hydroxide and carbon monoxide to form uh, trans-DOCO. So, feel free to read that, that paper in science uh, if you want to fall asleep tonight. <laughs> but, uh, you know, so we've already enabled new scientific advances, and now I hope it starts turning into actual revenue and, and cash flow for the company. So. <laughs> Thanks again. Thank you.